All right, guys, party's over. And welcome to the Heartbreak Arcade era. After releasing our first EP, we realized that no one listens to our music half, half as, as much, much as we, we do. do. So this time around, we've rebranded ourselves as Influencers. Our first single is about online dating. And much like the last person that you matched with who immediately ghosted you, we too feel like playing games. The game's called Half As Much. We will be presented with on-screen scenarios that we have to decide who does this activity the most, least, often, half as much as I. We do? We do. We, we do. do. We do. Are you confused yet? Because so are we. But I bet you don't get confused. Half as much as I do. Let's, Let's begin. begin. If the far side was a group project in school, which one of you would be the freeloader and still get the good grade? I feel like this one's directed at me. Hands down, Adam. Okay, as a school teacher, I do have an academic background. This sounds extremely pretentious. However, in this band, I recognize that I do nothing. All right, it looks like Adam takes the L on the first question. Okay, um, if the far side was a group project, no one would freeload and get the good grade half as much as I would? That's pretty much the game. All right, next one. Who comes up with the most song ideas? From a pure number standpoint, uh, you probably send me the most voice memos. Um, I mean, I don't know if it's just probably easier to pump out a voice memo than it is to open up Pro Tools and like actually try to get a session okay, going. Okay, okay. Is this like a humble brag about how your job's way harder and that I just freeload, so all I do is send you voice memos and then you make them into songs? Even if that were true, which it is. I, this is gonna be an underlying theme of the whole video, is like... Yeah, it's very rare that you come to me with a song idea because you're too busy sprucing up the song ideas that I've given you. I think right now on my phone I have somewhere like 50-something voice memos, and I've probably only sent half to half as much to Aaron. So, the just, question though is who comes up with the most song ideas, so I feel like I win. No one comes up with song ideas half as much as I do. Uh, next question. Who is most likely to shave their head? Next question. Who is most likely to watch romantic movies? Um, okay, so are we talking like rom-coms or are we talking like Dear John? <laughs> Because I'm not watching that one, but I, I love consider... romantic comedies. I mean, I really like them, but I definitely branch out into other things more often. Well, isn't it your favorite show, like One Tree Hill? <laughs> Touche. I was just re-watching that this month, or last month. Like, I feel like yeah, I'm watching a lot of rom-coms yeah, for sure. So, all right, I'll do that one. Uh, no one watches romantic movies half as much as I do. Next question. Who is most likely to listen to Top 40 Radio? Um, I'll, I'll listen to it. Yeah. But probably not a lot. Like, okay, so I like to hear what's popular, but I pro like, I don't go back to it unless it was Olivia Rodriguez out. No, I'm kidding. Actually, I'm not kidding. Yeah, but I usually won't go back to it but I want to hear what's popular, but I don't remember the last time I just like put on the radio and listened. Overall, from like a personal brand image, you seem like you would listen to Top 40 more than I would, yeah. but I honestly think I love just, I don't know, Top 40. I don't listen to it actually like on the radio station. I just like pull up a Spotify playlist or an Apple Music playlist, but I mean, there's been times I'll come to come to you and just be like, uh, talk about some song I just heard and you have no idea like you stay by the kid Leroy like uh, a month ago I mentioned it I think I was like, and you're that? like I have never heard the song before I'm like it's all over TikTok. I remember one time you well I also don't have TikTok so that's true um, I remember one time you were like you showed me some Charlie Puth song that was like number one for a really long time and I was like who the heck is that <laughs> you're like you don't know who Charlie Puth is yeah so I guess I'll take that one um, no one listens to top 40 radio half as much as I do who does more takes when recording? I'm gonna take this one first. 
I actually feel like for a vocalist, I don't take that many takes because we yeah. both understand that we're working with hot garbage. So <laughs> Aaron is just like, it's like we'll yeah, fix it in post. We're going to slap some <laughs> auto-tune on that and call it a day. Yeah, put, put a little bit of reverb um, on it. Everything sounds good with reverb. Yeah, I honestly think most of the time, if I want, if we're like recording extra vocals, it's because I want Adam to record extra vocals. It's not so much that like, Adam usually gets something pretty good in the first one to three takes. And then the rest of it's just me saying, all right, we need like doubles, quadruples, you know, everything. Or um, like, could you try that again on pitch? <laughs> yeah. That, that works that, sometimes that, too. That's helpful. Yeah. Um, but when it comes to me like tracking like bass guitar or like guitar solos or anything, I think I might take the most takes. If you've seen Wait. how I comp together my yeah. guitar solos or even the bass. Have you ever... Ha New question. Have you ever... We can done, answer the first one. Don't care. Have you ever done a guitar solo in one take fluidly on a final recording? No. <laughs> um, that's just not how my creative uh, mind works. I like to get down like 20 ideas and then piecemeal them together into a good solo, so, which... So you're already at 20 takes. I'm at one to three. Yeah. All right. No one does more takes when recording half as much as I do. Yeah. Next question. Who is the most likely to blow all their money on an impulse buy? Aaron. I'm gonna let you finish, but I distinctly remember as a teenager, you, how would I say this? Coming into a lot of money due to unforeseen circumstances and blowing a lot of it on a Mesa amp that we never used and could never get to sound good. <laughs> we used it at like 10 to 15 shows. So I'm gonna say- And we never got it to sound good. I got it at about 20% of the use out of it that I probably could have. Do you still have it? No, actually we sold it. I sold it for that. And honestly, the used value still covered the cost of that amp. So I would say basically that purchase also helped me get my Vox. Was an impulse buy. Was it an impulse buy? I just want to say that both of those were great investments because I was investing in my talent. I was investing in my skills. My impulse buys are like, I'm going to get coffee for the 35th time this week. So I just consider that standard purchases. <laughs> but I'm going to give this one to you because of the sheer volume I mean, look of at, money. Look at, this, look at this studio. I think all of this is considered an impulse buy at some point. So our final answer is no one will blow all their money on an impulse buy half as much as I do. So next question, who's most likely to come up with an instrumental idea? I mean, you. Overall, I would say me. Cause it's like, I don't play any instruments. Cause it's like, you know, <laughs> bass parts, synth parts, guitar, all that stuff. Right. But that's not to say Adam's never can't come up with many synth or guitar parts before. Um, I'm decent with melodies. So I'll come to him and be like, Hey, this instrumental right here. Like I might send him a voice memo of like a me humming some kind of melody and me being like, Hey, this would sound really cool on guitar. See what you can do with it. So I might give you a basis for things. Yeah. Like, I'll give you a pocket. Actually, that's how Half As Much was. The main riff in Half As Much, the do 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 was actually Adam. Um, we turned it, I modified it a little bit because uh, I think it was just four times straight. Yeah. And we did like two times of the do 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 and then I did like a modified melody. Do but do 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 yeah. do do. So that was all Adam. Um, I did some modifications to get it to feel new every time, but I mean, yeah, so that's one scenario. There's another song that- That has not released yet. If we're talking about Ego yet. Trip. Um, um, which is hilarious if you heard, which I hope, we'll probably post a voice memo when we release that song, just for fun. Yeah, and it's it, wait, ridiculous. It was basically me going, wait, I'm trying to think of the- yeah. But he made it sound cool. That's generally how it works. Adam takes something that sounds ridiculous coming out of his mouth and then it's like, somehow turn into it. But the melody's always decent. Yeah, it's the melody that counts. So you win, I mean, I'm the loser, yeah. like you're the winner, but so, our final answer is, no one comes up with instrumental ideas half as much as I do. Yeah. Next question. Who's most likely to pull a Kanye on an award stage? 
I've already done that in this video, didn't I already tell you? I'm gonna let you finish. Yeah, but that wasn't even planned. That right. was good. So, Final um, answer. Uh, no one pulls a Kanye on stage half as much as I do. All right, so that's our game. Confused yet? So, <laughs> so are we. <laughs> it seems like we tied, but I feel like we both overshared and I feel like we both lost. Yeah. We it's now know bad. that you like One Tree Hill and we know that I have no talent. <sighs> No one overshares about their personal lives half, half as, as much, much as we do. So, if you keep wondering why we're saying half as much, so much, it's because we have a new song called Half As Much that is streaming on all digital platforms right now. So if you search The Far Side, Half As Much, or you hit the link in our bio, um, we'll take you to the song and you can hear uh, the newest track from The Far Side. Follow us on Instagram at We Are The Far Side because there are plenty more games to play in the Heartbreak Arcade. <laughs>